Hello, good day. Today I want us to learn how to offset objects in MapInfo Pro. Offsetting object is uh, creating a duplicate of a feature by measured distance or a distance that you already know. Maybe you want to offset a distance maybe 20 meters from the original design. You want to create the same feature but 20 meters away from it that is to the left or to the right to the bottom or to the to the left anything whatever you want to do you can offset an object and create duplicates of it by measured distances and so that is what i want us to do now in this map we are having a proposed sports center of which you want to create a duplicate file of it to know where Another recreational center can be created if you move a distance to the north, a distance to the west, east or south. So with this you go to modify. But first you have to select it, make it editable before you go to offset object. You click offset object. I want it to start in the x direction. In the x direction when you, it is a positive distance, it means it is going to the right if it's a negative distance it means it is going to the left that is what we are we are doing now so let's see we want to create a duplicate file of this recreational center a thousand meters because it's positive it means it's going to the right thousand meters and how many duplicates should it create? It should create only one duplicate. So let's see. It has been created 100 meters. And you can check this by take, using the map tools. Pick a point and drag it to the same point on the duplicate file that has been created. Look at the distance. Look at the distance here. Select this map tools, a point, and the same point on the new file has been created. It's one kilometer, hundred thousand meters. You click escape, but I want us to see the real movement, so I don't want it to just oppose on one like this one. So let's increase the distance. So I will delete it, and then I do it again, modify. I select it, offset object. I'm picking 2000, which is 2 kilometers. Number of file to be duplicated, only one. I click OK. You see, now it has moved 2 kilometers. That is, every point has been moved 2 kilometers. You can check this. Map tools, ruler. We click this and then we go to it's two kilometers two kilometers now that has been created let's create another one by moving two kilometers to the north let's see modify offset two kilometers or two hundred meters to the north. Let's finish with that. If you want to create two to the north, if you want to, to the north will be y direction, so it will be two thousand positive two thousand number of duplicates one. That is it. For the same, if I want to create it to the left of set object to the left will be minus 2000 minus 2000 number of duplicate for one to the left let's create one again to the south of set objects now you come to y minus 2000 number only one another one is created now 
we know where each duplicate file will fall, should we put in a positive or negative? Just like the Cartesian plane, so we delete all these duplicate files and leave the original one there. So we are coming to do a combination of the X and Y. Now we are coming to do a combination of the X and Y. When we do the combination of the X and Y, a file will be created for the X alone, another file will be created for the Y alone, and then another file will be created for the combination of the X and Y using the Pythagorean theorem. That is the Pythagora Pythagoras theorem. We will use the Pythagorean theorem. Because it's having the X component and the Y component, it will add the two using the Pythagorean theorem to create a new file. So let's see. Offset objects. In the Y direction, I'm entering 2000. In the X direction, I'm entering 2000. Number of files in the X should be 1. Number of files to be created in the Y should be 1. Retain attributes from selection. You click OK. You choose 1 1 for each, but you see a different one has been created. So let's see. Pick a point to its corresponding point. 2 kilometers. The same, let's do again to this one. Which is 2 kilometers too. But let's see this one. This one is 2 points. Uh, let me put 2.83 kilometers 2.83 kilometers why is it 2.83 or 2.8 why is it so let's look at this using the Pythagorean theorem 2000 squared is equal to 4000 2000 squared plus 2000 square which is 8000 so 4000 plus four sorry four million plus another four million which is equal to eight million let's a square root of that is two point eight two eight which is two point eight three so a new file has been created using the Pythagorean theorem now to prove that again let's use uh, an example of a Pythagorean triple to understand whether it really uses the Pythagorean theorem to do it. The Pythagorean triple is any three numbers, uh, any three numbers that can form the Pythagorean theorem or that can depict the real values of the Pythagorean theorem. So three four five is a Pythagorean triple. Three four five is a Pythagorean triple. So let's see. Still modify offset object in the y direction. Let's go 300, 3,000. 3, in the let's go 4,000. So the new father will be created in addition to the x and y component. Should we check a point from the original one to the new one that has been created? It should give us close to five like five thousand five thousand meters which is five kilometers so one should be created in the uh, x direction one file in the y direction one file 400 meters from the original one and then another one be created by the combination of the x and y using the Pythagorean theorem so we click ok has been created so now let's see here to here give us four kilometers again let's check that is 400 meters northwards 
which will be positive 400 so let's check this one too this will be 300 3 kilometers now let's check the new file that has been created by using the Pythagorean theorem it should give us 5 kilometers 5 kilometers so when we talk of offsetting objects this is what it's all about you can use this one to uh, duplicate an original file by measure distance either to the left right or any angle that we want you just have to understand the Pythagoras theorem to know where you want your object to be placed thank you so much see you again time that time bye